hey love so it's time for a new video this is by sensational and this is called goldie the color i have is the sm041 i do believe if not i'll put the information for you guys below but this comes with combs and an adjustable strap and this is supposed to be one of those parts where you can cut open but i wouldn't advise that so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to tweeze into the part just so it's more noticeable as you see me here i've got my tweezers and there is a way um a portion where you can just tweeze away and just be very careful it's not recommended to tweeze it but if you want a more predominant part i would highly suggest tweezing instead of cutting it open because once you cut the cap open the wig is done like it really opens up really wide so now on to the concealing part I've already went ahead and put some on the inner portion of my lace wig and now I'm going to apply that on the outside now as you guys can see the roots are all blonde and of course you know that my hair is not blonde on the outside so I'm going to take my favorite Aussie instant freeze hairspray and I'm going to spray that around the part and I'm going to just brush that into the hair and this is where I'm going to go ahead and start darkening the roots or basically making some dark roots so I'm going to take a matte dark brown eyeshadow and you want to make sure that it is a matte color with no sheen or sparkle to it or frost and you want to take a small makeup brush and dab that eyeshadow onto the areas where you've already went ahead and put some hairspray the hairspray will actually allow the eyeshadow to stick and stay in place now as you can see I'm also going to add a little bit of mascara I could have used just mascara but mascara gets kind of clumpy and hard which is too much so instead of using the mascara throughout the entire unit I'm going to use I decided to use a little bit of eyeshadow and then I'm going to take a little mascara over top of it and I'm going to brush that mascara downwards giving it like a fading effect as if it was real roots grown out of my hair so this is the actual finished look of the wig once I went ahead and put the mascara and eyeshadow the eyeshadow works as a base and then just a little bit of mascara so you won't need a lot of mascara now I'm going to just pull out a little bit of my baby hairs and use one of my favorite keratin filler fibers which is topic keratin filler fibers if you have thin edges or you want your hair a little bit darker then this product is amazing I love it and you see me use it on a lot of my videos to make my own hairline blend in perfectly or seamlessly with the unit I'm going to use a little bit of concealer and brush her into um, style and place this unit is gorgeous she's really pretty and you guys know I love hairspray so I will use hairspray on just about any kind of hair whether it be synthetic or human hairspray works for everything and it just holds it in place so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's take a look okay love so this here is goldie by sensational so you guys know i love sensational i'm never let down i first was kind of like leery about this unit because the roots were all blonde and as you know i don't have blonde roots so i wanted to, to look as natural as possible as realistic as possible so what i went ahead and did the first thing that's really important with this unit or any one of the invisible parts because this is supposed to be a kind of like natural curved part and to me it's kind of like invisible it needs a little bit of tweezing so you want to go ahead and follow that natural pattern that they've already put in place for you and take your tweezers and pull some of the hairs out if you have a unit that the roots are one particular color not dark like yours so say they're like blue green pink yellow blonde white what have you but you want to have that natural look to where the roots are dark the thing that I like to do is I'll use some of my instant freeze Aussie instant freeze this is like the best hairspray this is my go-to hairspray I always use this I'll use this and I'll spray right along the area where I'm going to darken and along with that I'll go ahead and I'll use a very dark matte color eyeshadow so it has to be a, either a dark brown or if your roots are darker than mine's like a black then you can go ahead and use the black but make sure it's a matte color a small brush and you want to just place it right where the roots will be and a little bit down to where you place that hairspray the last thing i do is i'll use the mascara last this is by motors it's not one of my favorite it really doesn't coat the lashes that well so i use it on any unit that i'm going to have dark roots with and i'll place that mascara on top of the eyeshadow and the less mascara you use the more natural it look i like 
like to use both because the shadow takes most of the work and it also conceals it more but the mascara will darken it a little bit more and have it give it give it a like a little natural shine as for Goldie she's a really classy kind of like Bob style um, the color that I have on is the SOM 4076 and this is available on elevatestyles.com I wanted the blonde because this is the color that is showcased on the website and it just looks so well on the model so I decided to go ahead and do that there is a lot of layering in it and the hair texture is really different meaning um, you can put heat to it if you wanted to but it doesn't feel like cheap synthetic plastic hair it really has like a nice texture to it um, if I was to explain it I would say it was more or less like human hair that you would buy at like the beauty supply store. I do like Goldie. She gives me like a really classy look. I like the color. The length is different for me. This probably is like a 14 inch but the color is totally different for me. Like I like the blend that they did with it. I just really wish they would have made the roots darker so that way it could look a lot more natural opposed to just having blonde roots. I don't want it to look like a wig. But other than that the, the wig is really super cute. For those of you who want something really classy to go to work in or you just don't like really long hair then goldie is for you stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and as always i'll see you guys on my next video